is to the another video series of PHP so in this course we are going to learn PHP from beginner to advanced so what is a PHP so PHP is a preprocessor hypertext language which is a programming language so as you can see in the background image uh, I have taken an image just for the enhancement of a PHP into the presentation so PHP is a programming language that allows web developers to create a dynamic content that interact with databases databases uh, you can use any MySQL or whatever it is MongoDB as well PHP is basically used for developing web applications and web based app software applications so these tutorials or this course will help you to waste in PHP so what why to learn the PHP well uh, PHP is a server side scripting language means uh, server is need to run the PHP code embedded in HTML we can embed the PHP code within the HTML it is used to manage dynamic contents dynamic contents stand for the forms or the data databases databases we are going to take from a user session tracking basically session is the uh, time period or what we can say it is the time limitation time limitation for the user even build entire e-commerce sites so nowadays uh, e-commerce platform are growing very much so we can build uh, entire e-commerce sites with the help of PHP PHP is integrated with a number of popular databases like MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, Savage, Informix and Microsoft SQL Server nowadays we can connect the PHP with the with MongoDB as well so how to learn PHP well PHP syntax is similar to the C language the basic syntax like any programming language starting from variables then constant then declaration then operators and all what is the characteristics of PHP first is the simplicity we can learn PHP with a similar code we don't need to learn any advanced thing efficiency PHP is a very effective and easy to learn security with the help of PHP there are some factors which is used to develop and uh, maintain the security of websites flexibility we can switch or manage the code of PHP within anything throughout the internet Famili familiarities okay familiarities is basically used about the syntactical things which is going to use with the help of PHP we can develop a full stack websites with the help of PHP from the front end then scripting language and whatever databases we have so let's start the basic hello world program of PHP so open any text editor and just type less than colon PHP and echo of hello world slash in and close the PHP so to print a statement we can use two function first is a echo and another is a print so after doing this we have to save this file to the htdocs folder so just click on file then save as select a server click on lamp click on htdocs select a particular folder where we have to store the file so I am selecting a PHP in PHP getting start first and as a hello dot PHP okay after saving the folder just click open a browser and this is the directory of my folders where I have stored my files so what we have to run we have to run the first file what is the file first that is the hello hello dot PHP file okay so this is a statement so now we'll see the statement get display or not just click on hello.php and there we go the output get display as hello world the basic of hello world program so here you can see there is opening and closing text with the keyword echo so what is the less than question mark PHP well this is the opening tag of PHP 
and at the last there is a closing tag of php so here echo is a keyword and this is a string or the output which we are going to display on the web page so to run that just visit a directory and click on the file name the file name is output.php let's run the file and here the output get display data types in php so what is a variable a variable is any programming language is a name piece of computer memory containing some information inside so how to define a variable in php it is a very simple well dollar is the identifier and str is the name of variable where i have declared a string to the first variable and i have declared a number to the second variable so we can declare anything with the help of with the help of variable and we can print the statement with the help of echo or print so let's run this program let's go to the variable folder this is my file now there we go the output get display as from the both the variables so what are the data types so data types is the size or we can say different purpose to declare and use the data use the data data type into the program so in php we have multiple kind of data types that is a null boolean integer float string object resource and array so let's start with the first null so what is a null null is assigned to any variable it represent a variable with no value no value means it have a basic value there is a example so this is a basic example of a null so what i have declared here i have declared one variable that is a f double o which is a value of null let's move to the another data type that is a boolean so boolean data type contain only two types that is the true and false so here is the basic example of boolean data type so first i have declared a foo variable with equals to true value then i have used a basic if else statement if else control statement to declare and define some output from the program so let's run to the program here is the output is true because i have declared value f equal to true let's move to the another data type that is a integer as we all know integer is is a number or is a perfect number so here is a basic example of a integer i have declared multiple variables with a value of negative variables to minus 3 variable 0 to 0 positive to 1 to 3 0 to 0 1 2 3 exact decimal value and binary value so what the output will get display let's run the program and there we go it is defining that integer is minus 3 integer as 0 integer as 1 2 3 8 3 1 7 1 and 10 so these all value are the integers value another data type that is a float so what is a float float data type is basically used with the pointers so there is a basic example of float values so i have declared a variable f001 with a value of 1.23 another variable with a value of 10.0 now i am going to print this value in the print statement so let's check the output of this and there we go the output get display as float of 1.23 float of 10 
output of INF and NUN. Another data type as an array. So basically array is a data type which is used to declare a multiple value. So here is the basic example foo equal to array of 1 2 3 and I have declared something values to the variables. Let's run the program. And here we go. You are going to get output as 1, a1 and 5. So why a1 and 5? So first value is a. Another value is 1. So it is taking a value from one value. That is a one value. And what is a 5? 5 this condition. Another data type is a string. So what is a string? String is a collection of characters. So how to declare a string? It is very simple. Just declare any variable with a value. and print that value PHP. So what is the constant? Constant contain a value of variable which does not change. It means that it is a constant throughout the program. So here is a basic example of constant. So to define a value of constant we have a keyword that is a CONST stand for const declare a very value with a variable that is a pi equal to 3.14 and I am going to print the value of pi. So what is the output of this? The output of this is 1.34 so let's check the output let's check the constant program and there we go the output get display as 3.14 in php so what is the operator operator is something that take one or more value and yield another value for example so addition of a two number so we have two numbers like one plus two and the output as three so what is the 1 and 2? 1 and 2 is the operand and the plus sign is the operators. So we have multiple operators in any languages like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So basically operators are categorized into multiple types. So what are the types? That is arithmetic operator, assignment operator, logical operator and so on. Arithmetic operators. So what are the arithmetic operators? In PHP we have various, various arithmetic operators like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication and modulus. So in the program we are going to demonstrate on one by one operators. So first use the arithmetic operators. Here is the basic example of arithmetic operator. We have, here I have declared two variables. First is a and b with a value of 18 and 2. In first statement we are going to do the addition in another statement we are going to do the subtraction multiplication division and modulus so this is a basic example of arithmetic operators so we'll run the program and check the output of it so there we go we are going to get output as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulus of these numbers.
factor in PHP. So the name itself says that comparison. Comparison means based with what? If we have a two value, we are going to compare that value which each to to which each others. So here I have declared two values as four and four, and I'm going to check whether the value are equals or not. If the value are equals, then the first statement get executed. Otherwise, the another if block get executed. So first is checking equals, and another is going to check the identicals. So what will be the output of this program? We'll check the output. So it is going to check that a and b are equal. So the meaning of these two are simple that's why it is going to give the output as a and b are equals so now you are here you can see the another e block get executed what is the statement of another e block the two value are identical and there we go a and b are identical so the name assign which tells that we are going to assign or declare something value for the variables so here is a basic program where i have declared value of 3 to the variable a and we are going to check the conditions so basically defining a value or assigning something value to the variables it's called as the assignment operators so here i have declared value 3 and i'm going to print the value of 3 so we'll check the output of program and yeah we are going to get output as 3 we have a unary operators in php so unary operator contain only one value that is the i which value is 1 so firstly i am going to check the increment then decrement then post increment and post decrement so we'll check the output of this so firstly it is going to print the value of 1 because 1 is already declared another time i am going to assign a value with a loop statement that is a plus plus that is why the value getting 1 plus 1 2 in third statement I am going to minus one value from the value so the output is 1 the fourth statement is plus plus that is a post increment that is it is going to display value as 1 and finally we have output as 2 because minus minus plus and 1 plus 1 2 in, in PHP so conditional statement is basically used to check values so first statement is a if else so if else is basically true and false conditions so i have declared two variables with the two values in first loop i am going to check whether a is greater than b then output get display as a is greater than b otherwise a is small than b so we will check the output of this program So a is greater than b why because value of a is greater than b that is a 50 and 15 another conditional statement that is else if if conditions so else if else if condition is going to check when we have multiple conditions more than two conditions so here i have a record of one student which is uh, his score is 50 so basically I have to check the score scorecard or the percentile of the student so first statement is greater than 100 so this is not possible because 100 is the max value so if the student gets 0 less than 0 this condition is also not true so here is the two conditions if student get 50% then he is going to pass 
if student doesn't maintain a 50 percent then student get fail so we'll check the output of this program so it is saying that student get pass so i will check out make the condition as 75 it's Let's check with the distinction. We'll see this work or not. Now here, the output get display as fail. Why? Because the condition get not match. So we'll move to the 75 and save the program. Let's run it. And there we go. The output get display as distinction. So statement is a is a switch. So let's see if we have multiple conditions we have say one or 70 conditions and we have to set particular only one condition then what will we do so to solve that problem we have another conditional statement that is a switch case so here i have a one pro basic program of a weekdays from monday to saturday monday to saturday and sunday so here i am going to check if i want to take a value of sunday so instead of taking a value of six days, I'm just pass the value of Sunday, which is a six, seven or one. Otherwise, it will get the default value of the statement. So here I have declared value as four. I have declared multiple conditions. The first condition, if I press one, then Monday, I press two, then Tuesday, three as Wednesday, and up to six as Saturday. And in some cases, if I'm not going to print the value from 1 to 6 it definitely going to print the value as it's a Sunday it's a holiday so we'll check the program so the output going display as Thursday why Thursday because I have declared value as 4 now check the value with another value that is 6 let's run the program and here the output get display as Saturday now we'll check the final or the looping statement that is a else condition so let me clear this 7 value and let's run the program there we go the output get display outside the loop the value of outside the loop is this is a Sunday and it is a holiday so here you can see from 1 to 6 condition it is going to get a perfect output but unless and until I am going to give the unnecessary or the exceptional value the looping statement going to start from this all loop escaping this all loop it directly go to the final loop that is a else in PHP so what is a loop well loop is an executable program here programmer don't, don't need to execute a program again and again just set a condition if condition is true then repeated code repeated code get executed otherwise the condition the loop or the condition after loop get executed so basically PHP contain a multiple loops are there that is a while loop do while loop for loop and for each loop loop is a while loop so while contain a condition then increment or decrement otherwise the block after the loop get executed so here I have declared two variables with a value as 4 and 0 now I am going to check a value of second that is a y which is less than or equal to 10 if the condition get executed then I am going to increase the value of x1 and x1 value get loop to the condition if this condition is not getting going to get true then the output of these two condition get display if condition is true only while loop get executed otherwise while loop is not going to execute the condition so we'll move to the browser check the condition first is the while loop so there we go the value of x is 7 and value of y is 1 5 
why it is happen because I am going to execute the loop three times that's why the value get added to it and another time the value of y also get executed then the output get as 7 and 1 5 another statement that is a do while loop so do while loop is a uh, different than the do loop uh, only while loop in do we have a statement and in while we have a condition so i have declared a one basic variable that is a number which is value as 5 so what i am going to do i am going to print the value of n if the condition get true means if number is less than or equal to 9 then the loop get executed to the increment operator that is a n plus plus or number plus plus so we'll check the condition is true or false so it is going to check the first value of 5 is 5 another value is 6 then 7 then 8 and then 9 so why this is happen so look here firstly i have declared a 5 and my condition is less than or equal to 9 it means that 5 is less than 9 condition true then it will add 1 to the 5 then value is 6 6 is less than 9 it again add 1 value to the 6 that is 7 another time 7 is also less than 9 it will add to 8 8 is also less than 9 the condition is less than 9 and 9 is less than or equal to 9 it means what it will iterate the loop 4 times 6 7 8 and 9 and finally when the output get desired output the condition get stop another loop is a for loop so here is the syntax of for loop first is the declaration then check condition then increment or decrement so follow me first is the in initialization that is i have declared a value i to 0 another condition is less checking conditions condition is maybe less than or greater than or whatever the condition which we have to do and another statement that is a increment or decrement so basically this program is going to print the values from 0 to 10 if first value the, it means what the value of i is less than 10 condition true it will add 1 1 up to the condition get executed up to the 10 times so what will be the output of this program we'll check there we go it will enhance the output from 0 to 9 why 0 to 9 because we are initializing the loop with a 0 0 means 1 1 to 9 that is a 1 to 9 the addition of these two num these all numbers are 10 means this is a 10 numbers because 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so it will going to display the output as 0 to 9 if i am going to check the change the value then we'll check the output and there we go it is also displaying value from 1 to 9 we have another loop as for each loop well for each loop is basically used to display the arrays or it is concerned with the array here i have declared array with three values that is alpha bravo and charlie now i am going to iterate the items the items iterate as dollar items keep the condition of the variable what is a variable variable is item to write i have a concern this value of the variable to dollar items if condition is true then it will iterate the conditions and display the each and every element of a console what is the console console contains three values that is alpha bravo and charlie iterating through each element of an array whatever the element contain in array with variable item to write so we'll check the output of this condition so here is a for each loop there we go we are going to get display the values from alpha or the array which we have declared in this what is a function function is a block of code that is written in order to perform a specific task for example i want to do the addition of two number so instead of taking a number from user and all i am going to declare a variable addition with a two parameters that is the first number and second number so when the end user or the user of application going to enter two values 
then the add function automatically add that values and will get the output so basically declaring variable in function we have a two types of variable that is a global variable and local variable so what is a global variable the variable which is declared before the function name that the it means what that variables which is going to use throughout the whole programs I mean there is no restriction we can globally access that variable whatever the need we have so I have declared two variables that is a 5 and 2 and in multiply function I am going to multiply the two numbers so there is a keyword what is a keyword global why keyword global because I am assigning or I am accessing the value from the first number and second number into the answer variable where I am going to declare the multiplication of that two numbers and finally after the block of code I am going to display the output and at the last statement I am going to display the value of the function so we will check the output there we go the first number is 1 that means number 1 is 5 and another number is 2 so multiplication of these two number is 10 so this is a global variables means we can use these two variables within the throughout the whole program let's move to the another type of variable that is a local variable well local variable is basically used within a limited area or what we can say within a function only so here is a basic example of same program which is a cube of number so I am going to add, add a number and let's check the number let's check the cube of number for example I want to check a cube of 3 then 3 into 3 into 3 this statement will what will do this statement will do if number is 3 then 3 into 3 and 3 into 3 finally the output get display in the echo statement so what is the cube of 3 we'll check the output that is a 27 but here there is a, some restriction to the variables means if I am going to declare another variables uh, at the block of code at the top at the bottom then I can't access the variables because the variables is not local is not global variables these variables are global local means what I am going to execute this all this statement or this block of code within that function only so there is a, some restriction to the programmer to make a variable global or local so according to the reference we can assign the variables according to the types so if we have multiple uh, if we have multiple databases or multiple data then we can use global if we have some limited amount of data then we can use the local variable as well passing argument to the function so what is a function function is the executable block of code which is used to execute the operation by never writing the code just write the code once and call the function the function get called and the all output get display throughout the screen so what is a parameters so basically this is a function function name and these two number one and number two this is a parameters so in basic program we are going to learn how to assign the parameters and getting value from them so in a my function I have declared two no, two variables that is a number one and number two with the help of param with the help of param parameters I am going to pass the value the value three and four so here the first value go pass to the number one and second value pass to the number two with the help of print statement I am going to print the value of both the statement so in first line the output of num1 get display and in second line output of num2 get display so we will check the output function in parenthesis so here the output get display 
according according to the program the value get assigned as three value for the number one and four value for the number two as by value so how to pass a value to the program so here i have defined a function cube which is a number now here the value from first variable that is the number one the value get inputted to the program and according to that value we are going to do the cube of this number for example number one into number two number one into number one into number one it means that three into three into three that is a cube of three is 27 we'll check the output of program now here the output is 27 here we are assigning or passing a value to direct to the user <coughs> pass by reference so pass by reference is basically assigning a temporary variables to get value and displays the output so here is a basic program of swapping of two numbers so i am going to swap the numbers with the help of third party or third variable that is a team so in this program i am starting a swap so firstly i have swapped the number argument 2 with a temp then argument 2 with argument 1 and argument with 1 with argument with a temp so here the values get like, like 1 to a to b b to c and c to a so value to the numbers like number 1 and number 2 these are the references which we are going to pass a value for number one the value is four number two the value is five so with the help of swap function what we are going to do we are going to do the swapping of an address of argument one and argument two it means that value of four and five get swapped which is with each other and the output get display as five and four so we'll check the output is proper or not there we go the value gets swapped means the value of first variable get assigned to second and the value of second variable go to assign to first variable means we have assigned like 4 and 5 but output getting as 5 and 4 so this is the call by reference means these are the reference variable which we are going to assign to the swap function like address of argument 1 and argument 2 well string is a collection of characters for example I have declared a variable name which is value as jewel and I'm going to print the value with the help of echo statement so here I'm going to call a value of dot name variable that is a jewel we'll check the output and here the output or the variable which we have assigned the value jewel get concatenate with the this string so this is the basic variable with the example is same but uh, we are going to do some assignment like within a curly braces and all so we'll check the output of this also Now here the output get display as same according to the first string means we have a two way to declare and call the values of variables with the help of string how to do the string concatenation with the help of dot operators so here I have a two variables a and b with the two values water and bottle now in C variable I am going to call or concatenate these two variables like A and B with the help of concatenation operator and I am going to print the value of C. So we will check the output of this. Now here the two variables from two values get concatenate with each other 
apart from this uh, php support multiple built-in functions string function let's start with the first function that is the string count string word count so this function is used to count the number of word within a string so i have declared a string str with a long string we'll check the output of this so it is going to give the output as 9 so we'll check the output is right or wrong manually so first second third fifth six seven eight and nine so output is right another built-in function that is a string length string length is basically used to count the length of a string so here i have declared a string variable str with a php value with the help of string length we are going to count the length of this statement so it is going to check that the length of php is 3 another built-in function that is a string position this function is used to take a position of a keyword okay So in this example, the first output get uh, get is going to wrong. Why? Because he is uh, not available within a string at a zero position. But the another keyword that is a stack, it is available at third condition that is zero, one, two, and three. PHP so what is array will array is a collection of similar data types so I have written a basic example of fruit and uh, contribute the fruit into multiple types like type is citrus that is orange uh, two for grace fruit and third for lemon now I am going to simply print the string or print the array elements So here it is going to give the output as 1 to orange, 2 to grapefruit and 3 to lemon. The dimensional array. So this is a basic example of multi-dimensional array. Here I have declared a three type of arrays that is a good, better, best, bad, worst and worst, tall, taller and tallest. I have going to categorize this array within the three types and simply going to print the value of the variables these variables so basically these three values going to print with a multi-dimensional array we'll check the output of it so here it is going to assigning the values like 0 1 2 and starting from the elements of the arrays 0 1 2 2 0 1 and finally 2 so it means that it is going to print the values of these variables which is the array types and the value inside it adding the element to the array here is a basic example of array which i have declared three values 1 2 3 firstly i am going to print the value of array so push and pop there are two functions which we are going to use to insert the element and remove the element from the array so push is used to insert the element into the array and pop is used to remove the element from the array so we will go through the adding element to the array so now with the help of array underscore push function the value of 5 and 6 get added to this array we will check the output of this So here you can see the values are assigned as 0 as 1, 1 as 2, 3. Then the value is added same like 1, 2, 3 and 5 and 6. Though here the value of 5 and 6 get added here. 
and firstly we just print the value so high value is 1 2 3 and another time the value is 1 2 3 5 and 6 so this is output of first print statement and this is the output of another print statement removing array removing array <coughs> removing the element from the arrays so this is a basic example of removing element from array now let's see the example in example i have three parameters to the array first is bananas apples and peaches so i am going to remove the variable of first that is the value of first so what is the first it is going to remove the first value what is the first value first value is bananas peaches and apple so array start with the zero and end with n minus one so this is the zeros value this is the first value and this is the second value now i am going to unset a value of one it means that it is going to remove the value apples if i change this with the pitches we'll see the change output now output as zero and one why because i am going to assign a value two object oriented features of php so here basic class shape with contain the properties of side and name and description is a method basically what is a class class is a collection of data members and member function so this is a member and this is a member function so here i am going to declare a basic class what is a constant so constant it means that the value of variable which is not going to change throughout the program here is the same class program with the values at zero and name so I have declared a basic function with the two parameters that is a name and sides. With the help of this, I am going to initialize side to side and this name to dollar and name to name. In the public function description, what is this? This is a method to display the name of side of ships. Basically, it is going to display the output. Basically, that's it. At the last, I have declared an object and passing value to the constructor. So, what is a constructor? Constructor is a print function and constructor. So, I am going to pass two values. First is a string value. This value is going to add to the first, and second value is going to pass to the second. And finally, I am going to display the option description. It means that these two values get display with the help of this description function. So we'll see the output of this. Now here you can see a hexagon with six cities, six side. What is the variable hexagon? This variable is going to assign with the value of name, and the sixth value is going to assign with sides. It means that it concatenates the two values and going to give the output as a hexagon has six side in php what is the inheritance inheritance is nothing but the acquiring properties from parents to child here i have a basic example of class shape and class square so in first class i am going to declare two variables that is a sides and name with a with a constructor and assigning that values means sides to sides and name to name and there is a description function to display these two values so now i am going to inherit the first class that is a parent class this is a base class or parent class now i am going to add these values or the functionality of this whole class into its parent class to, to do that we have extend keyword are there so I have declared another class that is square and extend shape. Extend means it is a derived class from the base class. Here I have declared another variable that is a side length of zero. I have contained one constructor where I am going to pass two values that is a square and four. With help of this 
I am going to print value of this. There is another function parameters to use to find a square to find the parameters of a square and area of a square. So side into side length. This is a formula for perimeters and for the area side length into side length. And finally, we are going to display the output as. So firstly, I have passed a value of 10. Then I am going to print a first description. First description means this value. Then I am going to call the these two function. That is the first is a perimeters, another is a area. So what is the formula for perimeters? According to this line, it will grab the value and find the perimeters of a square and concatenate that value here. On another line, I have defined as a area. So side length into side length, the value get added to each other and the output get display as with the help of echo function. So I have called area here and the perimeter function here we'll check the value of inheritance there we go the square is 40 and the area of square is 100 why 100 because side length into side length means 10 into 10 it's the hundreds and sides into side length that is Four into ten that is the forty value means this value get assigning and get output as this place. We'll start with the exception. So what is the exception? Exception is an abnormal condition which takes place and terminate the execution of normal program. Basically, exception is a condition where our output not get desired with the mistake of a user. For example, user have entered some wrong entities into the input screen or we have different logic and we are not going to catch that error. It means that it is an exception. So I have a basic example of divisible by zero numbers. So here now we all know any number can't be divisible by zero. So let it happen. Suppose uh, the end, end user enter the two values first is a one another is a zero then how could we know the user of the application or the programmer is a developer this is not necessary right so to handle that we have a specific concept into the php that is the exception handling so firstly i have declared a function my error handler with the two values first is the error number and message now throw new error exception of message this line is basically used to generate the output means what what type of this exception is there it will concatenate that value with a message function to generate the output or to catch the error we have a two statement here first is the try another is a catch so we are going to add our logic in a try block and the solution for that in a catch block so here i am going to declare like echo of one divided by zero otherwise if this condition is not going to satisfy or the condition is get false then what the catch block get executed in catch block i am going to call the message function with a e variable that is the exception variable and with the help of got dot E variables it means that it will give a error name so means whatever type of error so basically this is example of divisible by zero error so we'll check the output of this program error so here it is going to give the error that is inf onto the line 10 and here we are going to see that the error type is division by division by zero it means that this line is going to be a error divide by zero error we 
with the help of this we can handle the error handling or exception handling into the year. exception handling with the custom exception so in some cases if a user want to create or generate his own exception within a program then we can easily do that so here is the example i am going to create a class custom exception which is going to extend to the exception with the help of error message i am going to generate the message onto the line another variable is email so email what is email email is someone at the example.com so i am going to validate the email address so to validate email address i am going to check the take a number from user and handle that error with the help of try if condition get satisfy then output will display otherwise it will generate a throw exception that is a custom exception of email it means that the exception of email is not valid otherwise it will enter into the catch block where catch block is going to display the custom message so custom message is basically for the end user like that if uh, i am going to enter some wrong entities then output will be generated as you have enter you have enter a wrong email likewise so we'll check the out output of that program so here i have written the message like someone at the rate email dot example dot com so this is not a valid email right because what is the what is the format for email like someone at the rate example dot com only single dot is there but in my example i have defined as a uh, three dots so this is not a specific way to declare a email address that's why it is going to generate the output as the exception or the email which you have entered is not valid right so here you can see the it is not going to give the output as we desire so this is a custom exception where end user can define and use their own email so here i have declared simple this is not a valid email address so likewise we can define multiple exception within a program